Hello, welcome back to the fake two and today Well we go for the star and we'll go with first we're going with death. Maybe we'll go with her there's a music to do. You know what? Maybe Katura. Let's see what this is the one with her. Oh, I must have the fairy ring. So that head. Oh, there's something things. It doesn't even look like this. This can stay. I want this. Settled, I think. Then it gets corrupted. Hmm. I don't think this will be a weapon against corrupted. So no, no, no. No, thank you. I'm gonna stop first. Oh. If it 50 corrupted and. Wait, 50 corrupted or 50? The enemies, it would be too easy. That was the thing, like those traps. And it was everything. Tips. No. <laughs> no, no, no. Not generation, because I'm curious. Take a step back yes. and touch upon the mystery. How did yeah, things come to change? Sure, but we're gonna the curse. Anyway. Let's just say to leave it here or not because those stick. No. Games within <laughs> games so within close. games. This is possible. Oh, it only a win here sets the tone for your stop. challenge. But life it doesn't change the fact that we are cursed. So yeah. Let's see. I have a blessing. I forgot about you, so I can change to that. Yes, I will accept. Even though you're not ready for that, we are ready. I honestly have no idea when we will be ready. Very drunk, yeah. I And then, of course, you don't have cool times. Thank you. Oh, I hate you guys. Sure. I'm gonna have to clear this. Uh, yeah. You know what? You won't kill me. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you won't. Actually, I think I should have bought. But on Flora Empire as well. Because all in all, we always fight Empire. This just never changes. Really? Um, 
is great. It's an artifact. Yes, it? No. Alright. Can someone else? So. One late one night on the eve of a full moon. Summon Tifilius, the apparition who helped free from enslavement by a dark lord. Greetings, Morto. He grasps emerging from the embers of the campfire. The blessing that I now possess could be used also, in theory. I have no means to transfer the power to you, but we could craft this power again. We require two more blessings and engines. I don't know. Of course. How oh, more to assemble them? Not once but twice in one lifetime escapes me. Perhaps another time, he says, failing like a half trigger vision. I think I'll sell it. No! Why is it the first option? I actually wanted to buy something. Okay. I don't wanna go to the store anymore. There are benefits to besting the devil, not least of which are the new friends you will meet along the way. Are you the one who ruined Apollyon's fella? No, with pointiest face you've ever seen approaches of the shadows of the night. Yes, yes you are, she asked. How delightful. Did he cry? He used to be such a crier in your youth. Oh, you're wonderful, she goes at her bicep. I'll remove your curses, if you like. Oh, the devil. It goes against her nature to give to without games. She follows you some silver dice. Here, where you lack, I'll spin it by six and read back number of curses from your soul. Six is a lovely number, don't you think? That's why I have six fingers in my left hand. It runs the hand in alarm. It's a hoof. Ooh. Eight divided by six is one, so. It's two. What a world the long wings pulls out an abacus and flicks in front of this one. I can raise you with two pieces. What cross will you give me? Then as I said, a play, perhaps? Then they taste exquisite. So we need to roll 18. You feel a pull on your soul as the demon branches the curse from your she smiles and your discomfort. Still laughing about the brilliance failure, the one who waves by and disappears into the night. Thank you! That's actually amazing. I think this is the curse that screwed me the most the first time. later but I'm kind of sure this isn't going to be like this. I know they used to be bullet doors but they were amazing. This passive. 
The farmers are far more aggressive. No, 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 no. It's a shame that there's no way out. No, no, you step on it, you want it. Okay, I will drink. Hey, good. There is a reason okay. the Empire has oh. outlawed oh, okay. mages and their work. Magic can undo everything they have done. Now we can look around a bit. Oh, burn the mage? Yep. Kill the mage first. Death hey, no comes dodging. to you. This story ends Because here. I was dodging and each time I tried to dodge, she wouldn't badge for some reason. I wish just like to stand there. Well, but let's see, we don't need... We want that. Let's just just no. We do double something nice. Korea, no. I think the name. Nope. Wait, we have one going to go that way? Oh, her. Wait, no, just go to Shazam. Oh, we'll take... Maybe a few. I don't really like an alchemist. I guess that card is one of your favorites. It's I don't useful. see the appeal. It's easy. It's more like it. Yes. 
Yeah. Just free will be given. Then food. Once we reveal every encounter, so all we have to do is go straight for the exit. And we'll be part of the food and food and we'll know which parts to avoid. Magic drifts yeah, yeah, across this land. Power yeah. has found its moment. There is a chance to roll 18, but it's a very slim chance. Straight away. Hello, guys. Did you miss me? Armored foes would do well to be wary. Now the power is yours to use. my years I have never set to sea. Oh. The land seems safer, if you ask me. Well, we've been to the sea. We've visited the Kraken. After several hours of competitive drinking, an old cartographer has become your new best friend. Come sail with me, he slurs. A little secret, sweet, a sweet of dickhead or three. How many of you are going to race? Wait, 
when you are somewhere and you somewhere up to the site to investigate the sale of mysterious island that places from books in the sea every seven years. Who will need a ship? Here's some gold, see what you can find. It seems you've been recruited by an aspiring, aspiring captain of your crew. They approach a group of seafarers unloading their ship. There's, their captain's face is decreased and weathered from too many years spent staring at the ocean. School. You can please time to set sail immediately. After a long voyage, just pile out on the horizon. Here we see yet another wheel, each different, yet each bearing their own similarities. You drop anchor and wait to shore. The island is a paradise. Vast groves of tropical fruits swooping in the sun. Filling the air with their inviting fragrances. In the distance, is by a mist shrouded mountain. The cartographer documents everything he can find. The sailors follow along, searching for any hint of gold. On the third day, a white eyed Deccan points to the summit and shouts, There's a glass castle up there, boys! I've seen it with my one good eye! Whipped into things that sail who ascend the mountain. A wondrous castle of glass has been built on the side of the mountain. The sailors push past, seemingly unimpressed. If there were ever occupants, they are long gone now. The sailors strip the walls of finer and loot the silverware. This trip is finally starting to pay off, says the quartermaster. What gives you the right to take what doesn't belong to you, says the ex exasperated cartographer. I suggest you help load the ship if you want to sail back in it, says the captain with the sword. The cartographer grumbles all the way down as you help hold the takings. As you sail away from the island, it sinks once more below waves, thinking its mysteries with it. Back on the mainland, the quartermaster divvies up the wood. Here's your lot, he says, showing you and the cartographer a pack of golden gems. Okay. Oh, that was it. I was waiting for some plot twist there. Going. Hmm. Hmm. Indeed, that's a an axe. Weapons of the design of the knights of the track chuckled and dispersed. Yeah. Oh, I think they wait. He attacked me. Actually, yeah. oh, I think they are afraid of the wallet. Maybe. Or maybe Nearly. Can I teleport? <laughs> I have too much calls to give you. Sure, sure, sure. Okay. I don't care about her. Honor among thieves and compassion amongst killers. Since the events in Iron Peak Cemetery, Katura has been slowly wasting away in one of the six empty infirmaries. The lone physician tells you wearily that she will not last long, that she is alive at all is something of a miracle. You stand at her bedside, not entirely sure what to say or do. Her skin is grey and mottled, her hands tremble and reach for something unseen and unknown. The bastard did. I know he did. Open the branches with fists and curses as if anger on the star stave of death. You won't take me yet. Not. Now, Katura matters desperately, but her eyelids begin to droop. She grimaces out of fear or pain before succumbing to sleep. Her hand is so cold. 
Why are you talking loud? My breathing is difficult, but she doesn't still. Siki, Siki, I could. I whisper the voice out your ear. You turn to meet the wild eyes as good cover to my project and rag and bone. She leans against the crook staff topped with a ram's skull. Desperate times for the desperate pleasures, she tells you. And strange poison requires even stranger cures. For one companion to see another sunrise, must trade one life for another. From beneath her tunic, she draws a scroll mark of against the rules. You know the list, the dark ram below the veil? The gloom ghouls who oh, their long ability to the shadow and the creatures in cards remain rejuvenative, even when freed from the current vessel. She says with a slight smile. The cure requires the heart of a beast of the world. The cure requires 20 food. Okay, we can get the food. A sacrifice of your own as well, your travel relations will do. Soaked in the blood of a shadow beast and burnt in a sensor at her feet, let the smoke do the rest. Her time grows short, she says, uh, she says as she per perches eerily on the end of the bay. Go then, go now! You reach for her, have her suck the heart to the door. Okay. Let's see what happens with the it should be just enough. But what do we have here? Yeah, the scale. Actually, it could have been useful, I just don't know. Deciphering the strange poetry of the wishes recipe, you find yourself descending into an ancient and gentle grove. The beasts turn to face you, their eyes ablaze with arcane power. Few stumbled on their growth by accident, and none survived to tell of it. Hello, Elder. The beast of the growth. To restore your fallen friend, you must carve out the beast's heart. Mage, mages should produce more resistance. Wait, mages? Mages? Oh, okay. How did she put him in there? Whoa, that's crazy. Okay, I was. Nope. I'm hitting it. Oh, okay, that's it. You take your dagger and carve the creature's heart from its chest. You find an altar dedicated to dark entities worshipped by the shadow beasts and strip it of valuables. <laughs> oh, thank you, that's gonna be useful. You return to Iron Peak. Here is your reward, ah! at least in potential. You return to Iron Peak bearing the images for the witch's cure. The witch greedily takes the reagents from your hands and begins to ritual. A bronze basin by the foot of the patient's bed. The ration soaked in blood squeezed from the shadow of Spitzen's heart. The wild woman whispers something to her nameless gauze and quicks her fingers, igniting the contents of the basin in a spout of green flame. Thick plumes of smoke fill the infirmary and cloud your vision. It becomes harder and harder to concentrate. 
The last thing you remember before you slip into unconsciousness is the leering face of the witch. The dusty rafters of the infirmary stretched out overhead. The dull cluttering and drippings of iron peak echo just out of your earshot. You sit upright. Katria sang peacefully in her bed, very much alive. The witch is nowhere to be seen but the basin of blood remains, a dark reminder of your deeds. Her face still hollowed and grey. Katria gazes at you with heavily lidded eyes. How are you feeling? I'm not a good person, I know this. She says softly. I have killed many. More than I can remember. Double lives blow together in a smear of blood and screams. A single tear rolls languidly down the lines of her face. She makes no motion to like it. I feel no sorrow for the deed at my feet. Perhaps I am broken in my soul. It, may, it matters not. As long as my tower can be avenged. Is Achilles in here? I found him in Marhunt and tracked him here. We fought once before, but I could not defeat him. She closed her eyes. But he is her hero. I know it in my bones. Who is Tamar? Tamar was my child, my daughter. She was perfect and brilliant. And she is long, long, long. The witch said to self, to save my life. I will adapt. Here, she draws one her pistol and passes it to you. I hope this serves you well. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, okay. I will go to face Achilles once more, Kedora considers you for a moment. Her exhaustion appears in her eyes. Perhaps you should not come. You are young and you have the weight of the sand on your shoulders. I am old. Soon I will die and the memory of this injustice will die with me. Consider your rebellion and consider that you may die with me. A reward that well happen? earned. Take the curse. Take it. Take it. He's giving me again. Oh, thank you. So sweet. Oh, hello. Yes, we're going fishing. Yep. Why is it? I don't know. The pendulum is ever changing, and the challenges it presents change. But the game too. started. <laughs> Present? Wait. Okay. Okay, I have my chance. I have my second chance. I'm just waiting. That will set you in good stead from here. Sure. I was sure it was a lot of things. Second side, give me one dollar's bounty. Nice. And give me my thing. We are free of our curses for now. We cross paths with a party of Empire soldiers. The commander stops and they greet you. You there! What do you know about these portals? The commander scrutinizes your face. Well, you're the mercenary who saved Westwind! The soldiers are suitably impressed. The commander bows and allows to continue on your way. Thank you! Hello. Oh, yes, I will give you something. Of course, I will give you the water spot. Mm -hmm. It was worth it. No, oh, fine. Uh, I don't really need to go to anything. We don't have any cars. Let's see the portal. Why not? Shit. Ah, I like this, these weapons. This, that we can use over and over again. I hope
you guys are actually trying to fight on first. Four square and solidly arranged. Ooh. As night falls, you hear the sound of digging coming from the cemetery. You spy a coven of mages with shovels. Steadfast, they dig until they hear a metallic clunking sound. They unearth a small disc. In the moonlight, you can almost distinguish a panel on its surface. You crouch behind an old oak and wait to see what happens next. Look at that. Ooh! Five can stay, actually. <laughs> yeah, he did. An appearance arrives laden with pies and cheeses. The mages make themselves comfortable and enjoy their graveyard snack. Okay, um, snack up. Okay, the, the boat is on my feet. Nicely timed. You lift a hunk of broken headstone above your head and roll to the grave diggers. You manage to get out some of the mages before they have a chance to arm themselves. Yes! They call us the mage, mage slayer for a reason. I don't know that. Let me up her. The battle resolves, you turn your attention to the half beard metal disc, you fall to your hands and use the big to dig. The pentacle. I like that this game apologies oh, this is a pentacle. Ooh, drop clasp. Ooh. It's for every cup. And of course I will. <laughs> yeah, I will change into like that one. Actually, yeah. Because all of them are for the light of them. Hello, first of first things first. I shoot. Keep on shooting. Whoa, okay. Okay, he does that. Nice stuff, I like it. Apparently no. That is a good thing. I got.
Chris goes. This will take a while. That failed. We build over. Okay. Yeah. And maybe it's just in this first level. Excellent. A wise decision. Ah. No. This is a 
specific curse and is it cold to fuse? Cold to fuse. I don't care. You know, at the park comes with a blaze of green and blue flame. That's, that's nice actually. I wanna go. Should have got rid of that. We can get hold of this again, I think. I was the greatest of the mages. Few there were in those days. I sought only to serve, and thus I came to the throne of life and death. Okay, we will discard one curse. Ten steps in sword or you pray the floor doesn't give out. Yeah, I didn't read it. Back to the bones. Floor is I hope you have learned ever. to be their master. Walk cautiously to the sword door and proceed down the stairs. A hellish vortex fills the space below the manor. You feel the heat of the major's disc for the section. Monsters claw their way out of the siphon portal. In the turmoil, the disc clatters to the ground. The portal throws it in and consumes it. The portal heaves, bathing you in arcane energy. If a blinding explosion disappears to oblivion. Very easy. Would gladly get rid of this. If I was weak, it was the weakness of pride. Time has shown that to be well founded, however. You walk along the seashore on a dark storm night. A lone ghoul squawks overhead, drowned by the 
drowned I out by the crashing of the waves and rumble of the sky, a coven of majors chant something low and ominous. Dark clouds gather overhead as a mage raises a scepter to the heavens. With a crash, lightning strikes the scepter and the mage falls down dead. The chanting increases in fervor as another mage steps up to have the scepter of Skyward. As we approach, the mage has moved to make space for you. Ah, oh, the mage holding the scepter beats you. The believer of seeking the scepter's lie. Whatever he was going to say next is cut short by landing and his subsequent death. I don't want Ooh. Another mage takes the scepter but instead of raising it to the sky, he puts its cold metal into my hands. The governor watches you expectantly. Sure. You squeeze your eyes shut and raise the scepter over your head. Lightning strikes the scepter and a white light fills your vision. Energy closes up your arm. Your very inside feel like they're from flame. Should have thought about that. Did I die? Then it's over. The light fades and you find the remaining mages scattered across the beach. You think them dead all in one, half submerged on the shoreline, raising an arm weakly. The mage whistles some final words. <gasps> Do not! He casts his final breath approaches. <gasps> Do not throw this scepter into the portal. <gasps> Whatever you do. Why? Of course, of course. Uh, you know what, take it. I hate you. Take it. Let me think about mountain. You'll be so pure. It's only the time you're taking from the day. Each time? No, it's not the end. I can't. I can't. I can't use it anyway. I don't know why it's me. Goodness. Oh god damn it, I forgot about that. That little thing. Seriously. Yet a resolution appears clearly. A map. Yes, I'm alone. I know I'm alone. Hello. I don't want anything from you. I want some food. Sure. I don't know, what do we have over here? I would hope you know better than to keep counsel with the Fae. Those deals never work well for your kind. In the depth of a forest. You find a young woman crying, her child tugging at her skirt. She tells you that her eldest has disappeared after ignoring her warning about the fairy ring. You notice a circle of toadstools in the middle nearby. You offer to help find her child. As you step into the middle of the ring, everything fades. Your vision returns. But the forest is no longer the same. The trees are purple and the sky shines yellow with bright blue sun. Treating for this strange forest, you encounter a brownie who looks like he had too big for his buggy. I'm so hungry, will you grab me some food? Sure. He rubs his hands together in anticipation of a decent meal. He manages on a bread roll. Whatever you do, if you see the phone, don't believe a word he says. He almost always lies. Almost always. That doesn't mean always. He says with his mouth full. 
You walk along a path along the dripping sound of my instrument. You come up to a fork in the road where a fork places packed food were cooking his hooves about. Can I help you? he asks. Do you inquire about the Mr. Tran? Oh, yes, about he. Hi. Is Scruffy cold? Yeah, he ran that away. He says, pointing to the path to the left. So we go right. You tread, li you tread lightly down the path and come to a magnificent castle. The drawbridge is lowered, so you walk inside. Many goblins and fairies gather in Queen's Court. Upon the throne sits the Queen, a cherub with four faces and a serpent's tail. The first face is a womanly face, the second belongs to a panther, the third is a face of a girl, and the fourth is that of a swan. The Queen opens all her mouths and her voice echoes, A mere mortal in my cart? Why have you come? You explain you are looking for a missing child. She looks you up and down and says, I will trade the child for one of your blessings. Okay. In your face, we know where you're going. A goblin walks out of the chamber holding the hand of a small child. He escorts you and the child to another fairy ring and sends you on your way. You reappear in the middle where the mother waits anxiously. You reunite the mother with her child. The mother embraces her children and thanks you profoundly. I will say a prayer for you every day. Yeah, thanks. Thanks. Now, that, that will be useful a second ago, before this very level. And now we come close to That's the rough crazy. beast, Take slouching away. towards its birth. What's here? Oh, the healer, right. Hey, 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 no. Okay. All we can do is leave. The bolt of turns as the others did, but expose no corruptive minions. The mage's scepter trembles in anticipation until it flies from your hand and portals into the portal. With great turbulence, the portal disappears, discharging all its power. Tremors work the barn. Crossing the outside for safety, a distant summit erupts with energy, bathing the sky in red light. You doubt it's a coincidence. Oh, come on! I do like a sword. I would rather, I would rather fight with a sword. Thanks. Here, our paths cross for the first time. Did you know then that we would reach this moment now? No. You follow the ominous beam of light up the foothills to the summit overlooking the countryside. Yet another portal stands surrounded by mages, necromancers, and witches. This one is much, much larger than the other's flame stands at the edge of the millstorm. Ooh. A group of levitating mages begin to cast an incantation. The cacophony of the portal clashes with the roaring storm winds until all you can hear is deep and powerful heartbeat. As they chant something unintelligible, this decrepit arm extends from the fire nelson. A robed figure, its face obscured by a wrapped hood, steps from the flaming portal to stand before the day as the mages. It rasps with a voice long and unused. I have returned to reclaim my place at the table. A new era awaits. The mages and necromancers fall to their hands and knees in reverence. They fall into pious silence as he speaks again. For returning my objects of power, you will be rewarded. <gasps> Alright, those are things. He leans heavily upon his staff and waves an arm. Gold and trinkets appeared and clattered to the ground before him. The figure nods at his subjects and disappears in a burst of flame. Eventually, the mages realize you're not alone. They are not alone. God damn it! And we have to go straight for the shade. The quest for power and knowledge will cost a seal of blood if it must. Shape first, first. No, now we have to hit her. I have no idea what we will make it. I doubt it. 
no, 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 there's still something below me. Wait, what? Oh, they are too much. And my thought I'm taking a bit. Okay. Move along. This way, please. So I don't have to run so much. And I think she is the one that has a lot more health. <laughs> Which is great, it didn't it is hit any boss. <laughs> yes, I can't say that as a boss because it will jump them does. It is a bit of rich, I think. But right now I think it's just annoying. You serve the bodies for anything of value, but cannot escape the question that echoes in your mind. Who or what have you unleashed here today? Him! We've unleashed him, the dealer! You are bound now. The final moments approach, and with each moment Ooh. accelerate. Our first... Crimson card. Crimson? Brimstone card. Get your back. Nice. And that's gonna be it. Oh my god, it took over an hour. So, for now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye.